Hello and welcome to the parametric series. Today we will show you how to build a parametric model just starting from the collections. So as you know in Matrix Hall, in the projects tab you have the content manager. So if I go to the content manager I have two more tabs here. One is for the projects and the other one is for the collections. So in the collections you can save anything that you want and you also have all these categories that are already by default uh, in Matrix Hall. So the first thing that I will start today with is with a simple band. So I go to the bands folder and I can see that I have a few here. So the one that I am going to choose is this one. So as you can see here, you can do either open or import because I don't have anything else in the viewport or in the document. I will go for open. All right. So from the moment that I click to open, I load this band, but, and very important, I also load the steps that I've used to load this uh, band, all right? Okay, what's next? As you can see, we have the ring rail and the profile placer, perfect. So the next thing that I will do is just go and use another time the content manager collections because what I want to use here is just a halo so if you go to the drinks and then you go to parts as you can see here you have settings and shanks so if I go to settings I have three more categories that are three stone halo and solitaires if I go to the halo I can choose any of those so for today I will choose this one because it's a princess cat this band that I have is pretty squarey, so I will go with this one. Be sure that you click on import. Why? Because if you click on open, you will remove this one and you will just open the document that we have with the hello. So if I do import, I add, you see, the hello here. Okay. Now, what do we have? We have two different sets of tools. The one that I have used to build this ring and the one that I have used to build this halo. I want to connect this. How I can do that? We know that this stone, the, this gem, is the gem on ring rail. So now, as you can see here, I have two ring rails, all right? So actually, let me show you. If I move this one to a number 10, as you can see, it's just the ring that is following the ring rail because it's the only connection that I have. But I want also to have this stone connected to this ring rail, not the one that the, the document had. So how I can do that? Because this software is parametric, I can go to the German ring rail, I go to edit, and now I say, look, in this input box, instead to have the original ring rail, I just click here, and now I click to the one for the ring, okay? And look at this, automatically, it already takes this one as the reference, and moves the stone up and everything else that is related to the stone. This is why this software is parametric. All right, so now I can just get this one. That is the one that uh, came out with a second doc dec uh, document and delete it. All right, so now everything is parametric. If I go back to the number seven, now everything will change, okay? I can go back to the head complete I go back to the head I click edit and I just do some tweaks here to have a better finish okay let's keep using the parametric now we know that everything is connected so to me this shank looks too wide okay so what I will do I will go to the profile placer and I will keep working on that. First, I will add another profile here. Be sure that is the 0.5, so it's just in the middle. And now, this one is 4, I will go for a width of 3.5. And on this one at the very top, I will go just by I, up, not this one. Profile position 0, it's okay. I will go something like this. All right, so let's be sure that we are yeah, I think that it, it looks nicer and it's more uh, 
it's more like the kind of setting that we have okay now another step is just get the stone go to edit and instead five i will move it to seven all right so we almost have it now the only thing that we are missing is just you know sign bars here to hold this setting but i want to build it parametric these are the parametric series and we need to keep at the end of this video a totally fully parametric uh, model how i can do that i have different ways to do it the way that i will do it today is just go to the gems i will use the let's see probably what i will get is the offset curve so i will get the offset curve i select the center gem and now i just move this around here and like this okay let me go to the wireframe view i have it here cool and now what i have to do next is to place a profile here so i will go to tools and from tools i will choose the profile placer and i will just move this profile here because i like to work from here i will just turn it 45 45 degrees very good and i will change the this profile i like to have something like this actually you know what because all this model no yeah like this one like this is okay one millimeter thickness by i will start a bit more wider here and i will go narrower i will place this one here great and now let's go for the second profile now i will attach it to this ring rail again profile placer i have the profile uh, here i will choose the same that i choose for the first one select and i will move this one a bit up and then i will make it probably a, even a bit more narrow i have i like to have definition from this profile to this one now I need just to move this to 180 because I want it upside down to follow the same direction than this one. And what I will also will do is from here just click on 45 degrees. So now the profiles are aligned okay so i still can move it i mean i can move it now i can move it later on so we are always in time to move it we are almost done now because as you know in the surface we have the profile sweep so if i click the profile sweep what is asking me for is just for the different profiles okay so the first one is this one and the second is this one and look what i get i get a nice sweep sometimes you need to take the automatic swim sim out and you can play now with you know what kind of flow do you want between the two profiles i think that like this is okay you can keep playing with it and now last step is just to place uh the profile the dynamic profile cap on this profile so we have a solid uh what i click uh, so i select this one curve and now i go to the profile cap all right so like this is okay and i will do the same for this one so curve profile cap and there we go we are almost there so we have this i can move it at any time so i will do it later on because now what i'm interested to do is just to select all these parts and from transform use the mirror and for the mirror i will use the multi-mirror and there we go as i was telling you the only thing that i need to do is just select this one 
and because everything is parametric I need just to go to move it a bit higher so we have all right okay so there we go in a very few amount of time we have done a fully parametric uh, ring you can save it now in your collections at, and you will have at any time all the steps that we have used so you can make any modification here okay so now if you think that this is too big you can go to the center stone you can go to edit and instead 5.25 you can go to the size list and go for a four millimeters one so now as you can see everything has changed in just one click everything has recalculated everything and you know you still are in time to make any change if you want so very very easily you can keep designing and adapting the design to your uh, customer needs or to your needs if you are making any collection okay so this is a uh, a parametric a fully parametric model i hope you like it and now it's time for you to practice thank you so much